What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee discussion video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new five gameplay clips that got uploaded to the Japanese Pokemon YouTube account, which showcases moves that we've seen previously before in other trailers and other games, but this time running in the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee art style and game and it looks amazing. So, so let's go over over it. Now, I did get this news that these videos were up on Serapy.net. I'm going to have them linked in the description below just in case you want to check it out and support the website as well. Now, the first of the moves is Magikarp using Splash and it doesn't do any effect. It's fighting a Machoke. And then Machoke does what I think is Seismic Toss. Tosses the Magikarp out of this world, literally. And it looks amazing to see like the planet Earth from the eyes of Pokemon and stuff like that. And then slashing down. I'm surprised that Magikarp didn't die from this, but it is a level 50 Magikarp. Presumably, this is going to be in the, like the online battle arena where we're going to be able to battle with people online and stuff like that. I do want to take note that on the time on all these videos, you're going to see the total time on top. Like if you were having an online battle as well. And then next up for a move, we get Tauros performing Hyper Beam, which again looks pretty cool, pretty devastating. Kind of unfortunate that. All all we're seeing is Tauros doing Hyper Beam to itself and then responding back with another Hyper Beam. I would have hoped they would have used this time to kind of show a different Pokemon maybe doing a different move, but Toro does look amazing in this game. Nothing really too much to complain about. Then we get Sky Attack, done by, I believe, a Pidgeotto or Pidgeot, and it looks okay. I would kind of wish there was a, you know, better animation for this, if that makes any sense, because, you know, you see the wings fly up in the air and then it comes down next turn and doesn't attack, but I would kind of wish that Pidgeot would have flew up high or something like that, or Pidgeotto when it flew up high and stood up there and the, the next sack would have missed. Kind of like what Fly does, but it, it, it's kind of weird seeing a move called Sky Attack, but the Pokemon throws wings up in the sky, but doesn't throw itself up in the sky. I don't know, it's kind of weird. And then we get Moonblast done by Gloom, which obviously looks amazing. You see the moon, you see Gloom get its energy from the moon, which is pretty cool, and then shoots a blast at Pidgeotto. I do want to make a note here that Gloom and Pidgeotto are at different levels. The Pidgeotto, I'm gonna call it Pidgeotto, I think it's P Pidgeotto Pidgeot, is at level 45, and then we have Gloom at level 43. And it looks like it's taking place on like a small island, so probably this is gonna be one of those trainers that you find if you surfing around the world and bump into a small island and then that's pretty much it and then we get back into the online section i want to call it and we get charizard turning into a mega charizard i believe this one is x right the black one the black one is x let me know in the comment section below if i'm wrong mega charizard doing flare blitz looks amazing we've seen this one before in another trailer i believe not south the executor we don't see executor do a specific move per se and i do want to take note that that is a no Normal executor, not a lone executor, even though the lone executor has been confirmed to be in the game because the lone Pokemon will make their way in the game. And then we get a super low level bug catcher at level 19, and then what it looks to be a duo of Pharaoh at level 35 by the trainer. And oh my god, the trainer does a drill run and then a drill peck on this little poor Paris, which I gotta say, these moves look okay. And do look cool to finally see some of these moves in action. I kind of think this was overkill on the little little ass Paris, but either way, it looks pretty cool. I just wanted to get this video to you guys so you guys could see these quick little new clips of the game. Get your thoughts, get your impressions on how do y'all feel about these moves being included in the game. It's not like we didn't know they weren't gonna be included in the game. They do look amazing. I always see this complaint on Twitter, on Instagram, that people were saying basically that the Let's Go games kinda look trash, kinda look bad, and doesn't focus on battling. And this is a whole 
bunch of gameplay clips solely around battling to kind of let you know that we are going to be getting intense battles in these games. I kind of wanted to hear from you guys. What do you think about the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee games as far as the battling is concerned? Do you think it's going to be a big deal? Do you think we're going to have world tournaments around it just like Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon had last year and this year continuing? Let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section below. Like always guys, I'm Daddy and my friend on Instagram and Twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.